Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Crobat for the win here, and I'm bringing you a very new type of thing. It is not Pokemon, but instead it's Kirby. And you know what? I love this Kirby Air Ride game uh, for the, what is it, the GameCube. And you know what? I am going to go play a City Trial game. Yes, I know I'm starting on level one here with level one computers, but honestly, it's kind of difficult to maneuver without a controller. It really is. I changed the color to red, go seven minutes, and you know what, now we got a really fun game. I'm gonna go to this blue box here, because, you know, blue boxes are awesome. It's gonna have a defensive glide patch, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the boost patch over there. I mean, really, for this game, what you, the object is to just wander around, go find parts, or not really parts, they're called patches, actually, and upgrade your vehicle. And you can change vehicles. As you can see, I get off the Compact Star. But no, I failed to get off the Compact Star because the controls are bad. And I do the same thing because I'm horrible with a keyboard. But uh, eventually I'll get an Xbox controller working. Regardless, I go on the Swerve Star now because the Swerve Star is awesome. I, d I don't care. People give it a lot of, like, people hate it for some reason. I mean, sure, it doesn't turn, but you know what? It's really fast. And I really like it because it's really fast. And honestly, I can handle the no turning. Except maybe sort of on a key not on a keyboard. But I actually have this game for the for the GameCube and Wii. Because it runs on a Wii. And um, you know, I play it all the time, it's so fun. And the Swerve Star's great. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep roaming around. I'm gonna get that charge over there. And I got a def I think it was a defense boost. So, it also increases my speed a little bit. So I go into that hole there because I can break them and try to get some items. Unfortunately, I get a weight down, which is the weirdest thing. It sounds like a weight down would be, like, you lose weight. And the other one, which is weight up, and it's brown, if you haven't seen it, it sounds like you'd be getting bigger or fatter, and thus, would be slower. Uh, that's the one thing about this game that has made no sense. I don't know. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ride that raft, go up and get that boost. And I see a top speed over there. Top speed is probably next to all my favorite item, because all is an item. I'm not talking crazy. Oh, by the way, there's one of those weight ups. See what I mean? Uh, yeah, top speed's my favorite item, because speed is mostly everything. Second favorite has to be glide, because honestly, gliding is awesome. There are a lot of gliding matches too, just as many f as racing, honestly. I mean, th there are a lot of even racing matches where gliding can be really useful if you have a lot of them. And the most fun part is you get the wheelie scooter or the wheelie bike to glide if you've got tons of them. Especially the wheelie scooter. So I'm gonna go break that box and get a glide and a defense down. That's really unfortunate. There's four minutes left here, and uh, I'm looking pretty okay, though, with this. I'm getting some pretty nice items. Getting boost right there, and uh, there's a red box. I think maybe a Dragoon part's in it, because I think I've seen it here for a couple minutes. And there it is, a Dragoon part. If you don't know what Dragoon is, it's a part to a legendary vehicle in the game. So here's an unidentified pillar. This is one of the city events that goes on, if you don't know. And, uh, yeah, you, you just have to break it. So I'm kind of failing to break it because the control scheme hates me. And then that guy runs into me and somehow damages me. But um, it's all pretty good because there are a bunch of top speeds and power-ups. All sorts of things I can get, including food to make up for the damage I just got. Now, they do get a couple of items, those other two computers. It's kind of sad because they're level one. Once I, I swear, once I get a, an Xbox controller to work with this PC, I will uh, use that instead. Once I get it to work, hopefully I actually get it to work. So I'm gonna strike that thing with a cannon and then run through the blue Kirby. And uh, then I shoot the pink Kirby again, which was pretty awesome. It's still riding there though, riding into the wall like a, uh, an idiot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get a glide there, keep flying around, and then I get a useless Maxim tomato. Now, I'm looking for that last Dragoon part. There's just under three minutes left. I think I actually just saw it, but um, obviously when playing the game, I missed it. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. But, I mean, I saw like the 
what's it called? The little, see those little box notifications? See how they're floating and there's a triangle in the end or whatever? Yeah, the, I thought I might have saw one of those. Maybe I did. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep going. I am going 58 miles an hour just off of one really short burst of char uh, really short charge. As you can see by the first star. And I'm just getting faster. There's no stopping this thing now. So, uh, I'm still searching for Dragoon, but, you know, I'm still getting parts at the same time. It's really helpful because, you know what, if I'm playing level 1 computers, I better beat the computer by, like, if we have a race, like, three times their score, I better score three times as many enemies. You know, that whole thing. I really have to show that, you know, I'm awesome by beating level 1 computers. <laughs> Trust me, it was a little bit harder than it sounds with the keyboard. And I know that I saw Dragoon a few seconds ago. I missed it during the actual gameplay, but oh well. Now there's a dense fog covering the city. This event's really annoying. Now I can't see anything. And this thing goes running amok. Ugh, it's a mess. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna get a Gordo. Just throw it in random locations because honestly, Swear Star can't make use of it due to its inability to turn. You have to stop to turn, and when you stop, you throw a Gordo. So I'm gonna hit this box, and there's two offenses and an offense down plus a charge. I end up only getting net one offense because I accidentally get the offense down. That's a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, now I'm gonna go down here because I still don't know what Dragoon is in the actual game, even though I know now it's unfortunate as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna realize Dragoon is not over here. So I'm going to have to just keep looking around once the fog goes away. I mean, that certainly didn't help my cause. The fog was not helpful in finding Dragoon. In fact, the exact opposite. So, oh, there's another square star. And uh, by now, I actually finally saw Dragoon. And now he steals my charge. And I didn't realize that I got a Dragoon part missing from that... The, I don't really know what I'd like to call him right now. But he's not. So I angry he took my Dragoon. And once again, I didn't notice it in-game because I'm too focused on controlling this thing with a keyboard. It's not fun. I can't wait till I get the Xbox controller to control us. So right now I'm thinking, yay, I got Dragoon, but no. So I'm like, oh, jeez, that guy hit me and I lost the part. Thankfully, it's right here. Eight seconds to go, I have Dragoon. So that is, I'm looking pretty good going into the, whatever the event is going to be, the, the after event. Hopefully I can steal a victory from, well, myself, I guess, because I'm pretty much going to win with Dragoon. No way. I could lose. Now, you can look at those stats for a minute. Clearly I have the advantage in every single way possible. Two of the foes have the, the compact star, and I'm going 80 miles an hour, 100 in the air. I'm flying through this course, and I finish it in just under 8 seconds. Well... I think it's going to take 21 seconds, or 24, yeah, for them to finish it. So I, uh, I went three times faster, or I did this course three times faster than them. And then I get a bunch of achievements. Isn't that nice? What a game. So I am going to be uploading these sporadically, just be something fun once in a while. Sure, they're not Pokemon, but they're fun. Anyways, uh, let me know if you'd like to see me do more games like these, more sporadic games. Might do a playthrough or two, not sure. Uh, anyways, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and peace out.